I wonder if Jerome Powell and Janet Yellen have this on their desks. Because this is a uh, this is kind of the way they act. All they need is fire in the background. But maybe they do have this on their desk. I keep other stuff on my desk. Not literally, but I would rather have this on my desk than hopes and dreams based on fiat fiat debt notes. So this is your security blanket. This will make it so you can sleep at night. There's a lot of talk about the central bank digital currencies and how those are going to be released and how they're how they're going to be uh, used in day-to-day -day life. And I think I think the original idea was to have them for interbank lending, but I think I think they've got a better plan for it. I'm going to put a link below to uh, 365's video about it. He does a much better job explaining things, and it is a British or a UK video, and it's about how CBDCs and the uh, how it's going to relate to the pound and how you uh, interact. But it's the exact same thing as here every, in every country, any country that has that kind of stuff. There's a few I think that are already using it. I can't remember, of course, offhand what countries are using central bank digital currencies right now. But we'll all eventually, I'm assuming, I'm sure that we will all eventually have to use it. There was one uh, guy that commented on a video, not one of my videos, but he he'd said, well, what do you do with your gold and silver? Just convert it into CBDCs? And to that I replied, yeah, you, if you uh, want to sell it, you convert it into central bank digital currency, and then you take that and you buy what you want with it. So if you want to buy a house, I'm assuming the seller is not going to be accepting this. So you'd have to convert this into something that they will accept. And that will eventually, I'm a, eventually I think it's going to be the central bank digital currencies. And they'll probably have to, uh, they'll probably have to be introduced. Well, how about this? It will be much easier for people to accept the use of central bank digital currencies when there's a catastrophe, when there's an emergency, it's much easier to get people to take something that's not prone to spreading germs, if you can see where I'm going with that idea. Central bank digital currencies are clean. They don't have dirty, filthy germs on them like, like paper currency. So I think that might be the way it gets sold down the road. Let me know if you guys have any questions on my thoughts. I, I just press record and then I just start talking. So I don't really have a script or a plan. But if you guys have any questions, and feel free to like and subscribe the video. It lets me know if that people are watching it and that they care that care what I have to say. But if you have any questions, just post them below. There's a good chance I'll make a video as a reply. Just on my point of view, I'm not saying that I'm right or that you're wrong. But uh, I think the best thing would be to just listen to each other and then take what information we can and use it to develop our own strategies. But anyway, a really short one this morning. I hope you guys have an awesome Saturday. And if you're a stacker, this is fine.